Hi everybody, welcome to Vintage Inspirations. Today I'm uh, thrifting at the Goodwill on Ralph David Abernathy Boulevard. It's in southwest Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I frequently go to this place. Uh, every now and then you can catch something really beautiful like this beautiful pottery. This is gorgeous. It had the lid too. That one straight in the cart. Then I found this one. This would have been, I would have kept this one if it had the lid. <laughs> That was gorgeous, and that, that one has a beautiful signature. I think I did show it, but I had to cut it out the clip because I didn't want to make the video too long. And then they, this store does have, this is a smaller store. It's really small. Um, They try to keep it as clean as they can. I know it's a lot of traffic. And then they, have, they do have these end caps. This was gorgeous. It was a, a stick of salt shaker. Yeah, you see the two holes? So two holes would be a pepper. So that's a pepper shaker. I didn't see the other one. So I did, I would have bought those if it was a set. And then that was a rooster. It's so cute. A little trinket tray. It said, uh, I think Atlantic, Atlantic City, New Jersey. That was cute. You know, if you're like just starting collecting um, vintage, that would be a nice pickup. A nice, beautiful cobalt blue bowl. And this was gorgeous. You know, I love those uh, those type of glass panes with the dry flowers, with the soldering going around. I just love that. <laughs> you know that I went straight in the cart. And <laughs> I love it. That was a nice find. I thought that was a tile, but it was just like a, kind of like a board. Yeah, like a cardboard board. And they got mugs everywhere now. Their end caps aren't color coded. Maybe one or two, but for the most part, they just put stuff there. I meant to grab that little glass container for my bees. I forgot. Not sure what that was. Of course, it's a well with a pump, but I think a piece is broke off of it. It did something. And they always have these beautiful Thanksgiving or holiday platters. Just beautiful. If I didn't have one, I would have picked it up. Well, actually, I really don't have one, to be honest. Not like that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, I meant to grab that. A cute little shape. I always say after I film the next row, I'll go back and get it. This was gorgeous, but I really believe it was a hobbyist piece. Uh, just off the signature, but I could be wrong. You know, some uh, companies, um, they make their signatures similar to hobbyist pieces would appear. And what are these called? A pitcher and a bowl. Yeah, that's what um back in the days people would women mostly would use those to wash up. I guess like to wash their face in the morning and brush their teeth. So cute. And especially if the doctor was over, they would have that because the doctor would need water and then they would need water once the doctor left. This was a nice find. I haven't seen this before. It's a beautiful back stamp from Taiwan. I'm not sure if they go together, but they had the same stamp. When I say go together, like, I don't know if it's a pitcher and a bowl. They just had them together, but I don't think that's, maybe, I don't know. Because creamers don't, well, creamers do have bowls sometimes. These were gorgeous. They were vintage. No mark, but they were beautiful. That's great for a first collector as well. I've never seen this type of thing. Like, you could drip your gravy in it. It's called a gravy separator. Oh, is that like when you separating the oil? Okay. And, you know, I love ramekins. I always look for them. These were nice. If I had a huge kitchen, I would have grabbed all of those ramekins. They were beautiful ceramic vintage. Some nice lamps. These little plastic things are never glass. I always touch them. They're never glass. Those are modern pieces, though. So this is kind of like the green end cap, you know. <laughs> And 
that's kind of like a catch-all end cap. <laughs> Except for the top shelf is red. You know, they have vignettes in the front. And the, the designer of the store, he decorates up front. He doesn't decorate the end caps anymore. I think they should do both. I wish those were some nicer starfish. I would have purchased it. Just a plain fake ones from like a department store. And um, I tried to find a few things in this section. It wasn't much. Oh, I did find that cuteness. Went right in the cart for my garden. <laughs> I love when I find things like that. Because at the store, they're like $40 just for one. <laughs> so... <laughs> When you find stuff like that, grab it and go. That was a beautiful punch bowl. And then I noticed this gorgeous ceramic piece underneath. It was too heavy. I couldn't pick it up. Joselito. I think that's Italian. Not 100% sure. And this caught my eye. I've never seen that before. It's a can it's a candle holder and it's like a double candle holder and it's a dolphin holding a ball. Isn't that beautiful? That one's straight in the cart. It's vintage, it's heavy, great condition. I love stuff like that. Just beautiful. And that goes to a butter dish. That's cute. I thought that was vintage. That pink little hexagon bowl. It was made in China. These were gorgeous. They only wanted a dollar for them. 69 cents for two beautiful plates. That was beautiful. A little love poem and you could hang it. It's so cute. I'm looking for some, or oh, I'll wait till we get to it. I just see it. But. So this is what I was talking about. I'm looking for this, but I want them to be a little bigger. Those are just really, really small to hang in the garden. A nice spoon rest for Christmas. Spectrum, they make some uh, nice quality items, Spectrum. Shocked they're not more collectible. That was a beautiful little trinket tray. With that gold plate on the back, it's a holiday advertisement. That was beautiful. I'm shocked I put it down. You know, you can't buy everything, right? I know you guys all agree you can't buy anything. But I see some people, they do. They have a cart full. Sometimes they have two carts. They're pushing one and their husband has one and it's full. And these were by Wolfgang Pup. I did put them in the cart, but I didn't bring them home. They weren't new enough. If you're going to get used utensils, they have to be, like, new, you know? So... This I I, I kind of wish I would at least because that one that big um ladle was brand new. This was gorgeous. I should have purchased it for resale. Not sure why I didn't. It was a heart, brand new in the pack. And you can tell someone opened it to see what it was and never closed it back. I never saw that. It's like metal on the inside, ceramic on the outside. Beautiful sunflower. Art Heart Keepers. That's a beautiful find. I don't know why I didn't grab it. I know someone would love to buy it. This was a planner for five oh nine. I looked for the pot. I couldn't find it. Couldn't find it anywhere. You could tell if it goes with a, a planter. A cute little penguin cookie jar. I didn't realize it was a cookie jar. So I went to turn it and his head came off. 
It's a big old head. Got a cute little back stamp too. It was actually vintage, which shocked me. I did not expect that. I thought like Target or Dollar Tree. I wish I had a place for it. It was so whimsical. I loved it. See, he had that red and white scarf. It was gorgeous. If I could pick up every clear vintage vase, I would. They are just beautiful. I used to have a whole stack of those lampshades, like, full. That was a beautiful, thick glass, antique little mug. Um, most of the shelves were bare, and, um, mm, wasn't much of a selection to purchase. You know, it's like, a lot of times when you have a lot of cash, they never have nothing to buy, not even no linens. I need some curtains. They didn't have curtains. I know I can get curtains, though. I have to go to different uh, thrift stores, not the Goodwill. This is gorgeous. Missing the top, though. Just two bucks. You know, you could use that to put your uh, kitchen utensils in, though. So I hope somebody finds it and gives it a good home. I have a glass one, so. What would I do with the one I have if I bring that home? So that's why I left it. But it was cute. And don't, don't never skip by all the glass, even though it looks all cheap. Because a lot of times they have cut glass in here. Or sometimes sign pieces. Like Waterford, Tiffany, you'd be surprised. That's for your corn. This was a nice set. It was had a beautiful back stand. Those are very expensive when you buy them in a department store. And they had a whole set. I didn't check the price. I'm sorry. And that's cute. You put it over your door and you have, what, five hooks? I have so many similar things like that, so I left it. I wish I'd have got it now. I just remembered I had one, but I gave it to my son for college, so it's not even here anymore. Duh. Because I was like, I have one. But then as soon as I got home, I was like, you know what? Your son took that to school. So I missed out on that. And they're quite pricey, too, at the regular stores. I think that was a holder for your seasonings. Silver plate. And these pieces were beautiful. I believe they were from Made in India. They were gorgeous. They were identical. Not sure of the shapes, like some type of flower. It was gorgeous. If you see those and you need them, grab them because they are very expensive and you can use them uh, to serve snacks or just to put trinkets, you know, whatever. In this section, you normally have uh, lots of items. It was so empty. It's normally packed. And so I'm shopping. This is a Thursday. Thursday morning or afternoon. I went to the dentist this morning. That's why I was out. So I decided to make a, a trip to the Goodwill. It was a couple minutes from the dentist. So... And this is cute. I think you put like your uh, veggies in there or your fish. Right? Yeah, your fish. I might have should have purchased that so I could do fish this summer. 
Make sure you put it on your grill. Hopefully, I'll find another one. You know, a lot of times when I'm filming, I'm not thinking straight enough and I leave things. And then I'm trying to be picky. So, I would have got these had they not had the mirror on them. Those are cute. I know somebody purchased those. It's a set. And so once I saw that sticker, I think I said made in China or Taiwan. I can't remember, but that's cute. You can put a plant in there or um, whatever. And if you're going to put a plant in there, you'd have to put that brown... What is that stuff called? That brown seaweed looking stuff? It's kind of like, um, I can't think of the name, but you'd have to put that in there so the uh, plant, so the dirt don't come out. It's a brown fabric kind of planter stuff they use. This was beautiful. Um, I guess that's for your uh, logs, for your fireplace, or for your magazines. I wasn't sure. It was gorgeous. And of course, this is the mug section. It it takes up the whole aisle now. Isn't that gorgeous with those seagulls? I wanted to put that in the cart so bad, but what would I do with it? <laughs> you see, I almost went to put it in the cart, and I was like, no, Tanya, no. Oh, I love those mugs with those sceneries on them. I might have to do shelving or something in my house. This way I can do start collecting things. Like, I want to start collecting blue glass again, you know? And mugs. Like, I love these candy cane uh, mugs. But where would I... I just know I couldn't put them anywhere. Sometimes when you have a small house, you can uh, put shelves. And then you can start... But it's going to make the house look so cluttery. Mm. Those are cute. The Christmas mug. I should have uh, looked at it. I'm, that, 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 I missed that one. And this is missing his top, poor thing. It's a um, sugar bowl, gorgeous. That would have wouldn't the cart had it had the top. But then I found these gorgeous looking mid century mugs. They were to die for. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh my gosh! See that color? Oh Jesus! That's gorgeous. That mid-century, like, chocolate with olive in it or something. I'm not even sure, but it's beautiful. And they just had the two. There's another peppermint mug. I see those peppermint mugs all the time. I might start picking them up. I just don't know what I would do with them. That was beautiful. Nice floral scene. I didn't see anything hardly in this section. I spotted a few goodies. They had some Christmas glass. And they're definitely vintage because the base is huge. You see the base? When the base is huge like that, that's vintage. The newer ones, there's no base. They don't, they don't even care about you these days. They don't care if your glass falls. If it just breaks, it breaks. They don't even care. This was beautiful. I love that type of glass. It's like bubbles all in it. It's just beautiful. Oh my goodness. It takes your breath away. It only wanted a dollar something. But my cabinet with my glasses in it is full. I can't get not one glass else in there. Or oh, I wanted to buy these so bad. You see that price? That was those were gorgeous. I had the whole set.
So I had a wonderful time shopping. The store was nice and empty. I think by the time I got to the clothes section, it got a little crowded, so I barely filmed over there, but I got some footage. I had missed that morning rush, so I came in right kind of at lunchtime, and it's a Thursday, so it's not going to be crowded. And one thing I did like, they had a lot of people watching for those uh, crooks. It's sad that people... How can you go to a thrift store and steal? Or you can even buy something for $2. My goodness. Mm. They actually caught a few people while I was in there. Sad. They have cameras too, which is wonderful. I noticed that. These were gorgeous. I thought they were vintage, but they're not. The sign clearly says, Made in China. This is a newer sticker, but those were cute little... Uh, pottery pieces. And this is the uh, dish section. The dishes. And nothing really caught my eye, so I picked through. You know, we love Christmas, especially at a dollar and change. That was gorgeous. And um, that was like a melamine floral scene. But this yellow dish is what caught my eye. It's to die for oh i wanted to bring it home so bad oh it was so hard for me to leave it it's by bar bar bauer pottery i believe that's how you pronounce it beautiful find beautiful find mm. for a dollar and ten cents oh they could be asking fifty dollars for that piece that's stunning it's in perfect condition Oh, man, I was trying to find a nice, substantial spot for it so it doesn't crack. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, I hate I had to leave it. <laughs> that was gorgeous. It kind of has that fiesta wear look, but even better. I think this is California Rose. I think that's what it's called. Made in England. I've been seeing these a lot lately. They have a whole history in the back. Beautiful. This was a nice find. You have a whole set. Like you can decorate like a whole wall. You know, that's great. Because like normally you have one and you got to pick up more. So you can, they're all different. I don't remember what that said. I think it was Holton. I don't remember. Sometimes I can't focus. My, my phone doesn't focus. I don't know why. It's when the store is dark that it does that. And this store is so dark. So you can see the dates on the other plates too. They're all different dates. That's a nice find. That stack was so heavy. I did pick it up uh, once I stopped filming because I wanted to see what it was. I actually was interested in it. It was some beautiful stoneware, but I decided to leave it. I'm finding a lot of things with roosters and birds. Such beautiful items. Let me find Epic or Epoch. Sometimes I'm not interested in things, but I want to know who the maker is, just so you can have an idea.
whoever donated that plate, they should have kept that in the family. That's gorgeous. And I'm sure it's 24 karat. It's sad that it had some chips on it. I believe that's Italian. Yeah, it's Italian. It's gorgeous. A beautiful signature. That's a nice piece that you hang up in your kitchen on the wall. Maybe that's how I got the chip. Yeah. That was beautiful. Those apples. I don't remember who made it. <coughs> this caught my eye though with these teacups. I really wanted to buy it. It's so large. You know, I love teacups. And had all these little signatures on it. I wasn't sure what was going on with this piece. But it sure was a nice find. It was a piece of Melame. Melame. It even said it on it. A lot of Melamines don't say it. You just know that it's what it is. But um, that tea platter with those teacups, that was to die for. And then I found these uh, Capilon pots, which they were in horrible condition because I really wanted to purchase them. And I couldn't find that one lid, so that was a bummer. How you donate three pots and don't have one? at least one lid? See how empty the store was? It was a blessing. <laughs> and and there actually was people in there, but they move fast and then they leave. I'm the one that going slow because I'm uh, videotaping. I don't think there was any kids in the store. This was a great find too. I'm sure this might have came from the actual set. I wanted to purchase it, but what am I going to do with it? So you hang it. It has the wire for hanging. And it's from the movie Cats, or was that a play? Yeah. Beautiful. I know someone uh, got that and, and gonna put it to some good use. I was interested in these, so I put my hand on them. It was cheaply made. I don't know what that flower stuff was inside. I thought it was like some cast iron cutout burrs. I was going to put those in the cart immediately, but um, well, that's not my, not my own. Um, style and I think this was supposed to be the basket section and they hardly had any baskets And someone must have set this here because you could tell it's out of place in this section, but it was gorgeous. My goodness. Oh. It's getting harder and harder to leave things. <laughs> and these were um dirt. They were soiled, so they wouldn't bite back down. Uh, once the, it was a set of these and some bookends. Once I purchased some of those cloth hangers, and when I got home, they had a horrible smell. I threw them out immediately. I hate when I buy fabric things and it has that horrible smell. Mm. So I start smelling stuff while I'm in the store, even though sometimes I hate to do that. Oh no, I just remembered I was supposed to stop at the pharmacy to pick up my some 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 of my prescriptions. On the way back I totally forgot. Oh man, I'll have to go back out. I hate you know, I'll just call them and have them deliver. These were beautiful. Weren't they? The little twist on the bottom. And they were so well made. Although they appeared to be vintage, but the box seemed modern. So I was kinda it threw me for a curveball. I wasn't sure what was going on with them. I'm just assuming maybe the the glasses don't go with the kit, but they fit right in. Well, maybe not, because you see how long it took me to get it in there? This is cute. It had that copper back. That would be gorgeous in the kitchen. It was uh, 
a little damaged on the left side but you just can fix it with some wood glue and a nail you know this is my favorite section the wood section but it was so empty This is a nice, I think it was French, nice French piece. Oh, these were darling, aren't they? You see those? They're so cute. I guess someone made them for their child's room or a bathroom. Oh, <laughs> if I had like a room that they fit in, I would have gotten all four. That was gorgeous. Those rubber duckies. And no, uh, no vintage puzzles. Although they did have one or two that I collect, but I decided to leave them. Those white mountains. I have so many. You know, you have so many, if it doesn't really catch your eyes, it's just best to leave it. And you'll find another one later on. I like those sock monkeys. They're cute. A banana. And then I found Big Bird. I mean, my, bought my daughter a Big Bird when she was two for Christmas. She loved it, but it was a bigger one. And for those that don't know, Big Bird is a um, character on Sesame Street. It's a children's uh, show. They didn't really have too much nice plush like they normally do. Now, I think she's from Barney, that green and purple. I forget her name, but I believe she's from Barney, which is a children's uh, show. Does Barney? still come on I don't know you know I don't watch those channels anymore little St. Patrick's teddy bear I should have grabbed that St. Patrick's teddy bear and kept it for next year Yeah, I saw the little tiger. He was too cute. <laughs> it's a nice vintage suitcase. This reminded me of my Pierre Cardin suitcase, but it's I, didn't, I couldn't find a name. Oh, it said Made in Taiwan. Yeah. I'd be hesitant to buy suitcases because, like, homeless people donate them, so you got to be careful with that. This is beautiful. And yes, I had wanted to bring it home, but it was broke and I don't need any more projects. So that was a bummer. I thought I had found me a, a nice piece of a lamp I could hang in my room. I want to hang like a lamp by my bed. You know, I think I have one. That one that I bought, that brass one. Yeah. These are some beautiful chairs. With that chrome and leather, it was sold. The sticker was gone. I'm not sure what that was. It caught my eye because I thought it was antique, but when you touch it, you could tell it's not. And then I saw these beautiful, beautiful chip and dip. 
or trinket. You could do whatever you want with it. It had a beautiful back stamp. Wait till you see it. It says home collection, Japan. Gorgeous. For five dollars, that was a steal. Oh. If I had the space, those both of those would have came. <laughs> that was gorgeous. That tail color. My goodness. Mm-mm-mm. They always have a lot of country cheers at the uh, thrift stores. This caught my eye. I, hadn't, I don't think I've seen this before. Like that Bentwood. I believe that was the original one, too. It was beautiful. But it was painted, so they messed it up. If it was the original wood, I would have uh, put that in the cart. Uh, you see, I skipped right through the uh, linen section. They didn't have anything. And then this uh, rug caught my eye. Not only did it catch my eye, but it had a great price. And I'm not going to say I love the colors, but it's so thin and I need something thin. You know, like your back door is flush to the ground. So when you put a rug there, it interferes when you open the door all the time. So I need something thin. I hope this will work. And then I saw this beauty. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Wasn't sure what it was at first. But it definitely caught my eye so dark in this store. And I'm assuming that's probably why it was still there. People went, walked right by and didn't even know it was there. I went by it twice and didn't see it. So that's a shark. And then you have this ship. Isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful. I wish I had like some water underneath the ship to show that it's in the ocean. And then I found this jean jacket laying down. I went to try it on, but... Uh, it didn't have like a oomph to it. You know, I like some type of western look to it or cowgirl or something. So I, even though it was gorgeous, I left it. Oh, man. I kind of wish I would have bought it now. So these are the things that I left. The jacket and that beautiful dolphin. Oh, man, I hate to see it. Oh, <laughs> I want to cry. That was gorgeous. I've never seen that. It was beautiful. And it was so nice and thick and heavy quality. I'm so sorry about that. My alarm went off. <laughs> so sorry. Um, so these were the things that I didn't buy. Yeah, I missed it. Sorry. Oh, the pottery piece, the one didn't have the top, and the other one had two cracks. As you, If you fast forward back, you see I'm showing it to you with my finger. It, a piece, a chunk of it broke, and someone actually repaired it. They did a great job, though. You can barely see it. I only was able to see. That's why I'm telling you, when you get these things in your hand, grab them, put them in your cart, and go to another section where the light is very bright, and you can see all your cracks and dim blemishes everything chips you don't see them in the stores a lot of time the lights are dim so that's why i always pull over to the side and go through my stuff i didn't notice those cracks in the ceramic jar when i first picked it up they, i didn't see them they weren't visible this caught my eyes beautiful it's uh patent leather red so cute wait till you see it so cute the wheels, but like I said, I, 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 I hesitate to pick stuff up like this because you don't know who had it. You know, you really can't clean it. I guess you could soap it up. This was very well made. It's so classy and gorgeous. Oh man, that's nice. Like when you go to like those flea markets and you can pull them and buy things and dump them in there. I don't go to flea markets though. I can't do the walking, but I am sure going to try and do some this summer because I've gotten stronger, but um, I'm going to go. I know I can't I can't do much, but I'm going to do some because I want to film it. Yeah. That was a cute little vintage shirt. I found this beautiful zigzag pattern. It was a medium, so I just decided to leave it because I'm, I don't know if it's going to fit. And I don't want to spend $7 and it don't fit. But, um. I didn't feel much clothes. It was uh, quite a few people. And then they really didn't have much. 
That was a nice gown, a robe. Did I buy any clothes? Oh, yes, I did. You'll see. I'm going to show you my haul. The only thing I don't like about the Goodwill, their clothes are so pricey. My goodness. Other stores, you can get one shirt, like two bucks, you know, sometimes a dollar and change. I love this shirt with that bow tie. That was gorgeous, but I know I'm never going to wear it, so I left it. And next thing I know, I looked up and this section was empty. That was gorgeous. Wasn't that beautiful? It's too cute. This was a nice suit. I don't purchase those anymore. I told you guys before I used to have tons of them. And I got rid of them one year, so I'm, there's no need to buy them again, especially with my small closet. I was in like a job call training thing one summer, and they gave us tons of suits to wear for your interviews. It was like mock interviews. They're just teaching you stuff. That's cute. If it was my size, I, I believe I would have purchased it. It had a cute little plaid look. Checkered, checkered look. Yes, I was in this job core thing this summer, and we we were like using the suits. We were supposed to return them, but then the the owner was like, "I want everybody to keep the suits," and I was like, "I have like twelve, and he was like, "Keep them; they're yours." <laughs> And I kept them for years and years because they was all, you know, vintage, of course. And all the other girls didn't like vintage, so they were buying all the modern, they, I mean, not buy, they were collecting all the modern ones. And so I got blessed because all the vintage was all for me. This was a nice chevron dress. I loved it, but I didn't buy it. It's not really my style. Of, of course, I love the print, but the style of the dress I didn't like, so I left that. It was tough to leave. It really was. I'm really into that zigzag pop pattern. I meant to go back and see what that was because I couldn't tell what it was and I really loved the print. I might have missed out on it. Yeah. You see, I was I couldn't do it with one hand, so I said, "I for now on I keep forgetting, but I want I need to put it in the cart, and then I this way I won't forget to go back and look at it." And I just saw like the the uh, gown to that uh, robe that I had sh showed you guys earlier. Now, if these dresses weren't so expensive, I might have grabbed a couple of them. This was nice, but so cheaply made. I just, I just couldn't. I, you know, I'm not saying that I got to have things that are so expensive, but some things are just really, really made so cheap, even though it's so cute.
And then I saw this beautiful gingham dress. Oh, it was so country and cute. No, I didn't put it in the cart. <laughs> no, I didn't. Had it been vintage? Oh, yes, it would have went in the cart. And so now I'm at the front of the store and they have all these cute little vignettes. Well, if you wanted to decorate with roosters, you sure would have been able to find a lot of items. I never really expect to find anything on these front shelves because it's mostly modern things, but lo and behold, he had a few antiques up on here. I wasn't sure what that was supposed to be. That was cute when someone chipped it. Yeah, a lot of these. What are, does anyone know the name of these? I know it's uh, uh, oil with uh, vegetables, but I don't know the name of them. But you know what? They never caught my eye. But these beauties, they caught my eye. These two right here, these brown looking ones, kind of look like tombstones. They were gorgeous. I didn't know because I don't have any room on my kitchen counter as it is. I can't be adding anything. But I kept going back and back and back. And then I just decided, no, I'll leave them. See, I go back. See those two right there with the black string on the top? Gorgeous. Had a cute little mid-century look to them. Mm. It's a cute towel rack. See how they displayed the towels? It was so cute. And once I turned the cam off, I went back because I was interested, but it was too expensive. I think it wanted $19 for it. I was like, never mind. I don't need a towel rack that bad. You know, I don't have a linen closet, so something like that would work for me, but I don't even know where I would put it. These were too cute. I really wanted to buy them, but I'm just not sure what I would do. I was thinking about hanging them in the garden area, but I don't even know where I would hang it. So I just decided to leave them, but they were darling. Mm. Nice quality, too. I pray they went to a good home. It was some beautiful pieces. I used to have a lot of these crystal watches. Not watches, clocks. <laughs> I said watches. I used to collect them. I used to have every design, every brand. One day I just decided to sell them all. This uh, lady, she wanted to buy them all. We made a deal and she went home with all of them. This was gorgeous, but you see the thing is broke the stem. That was a bummer. I guess it's supposed to be a watermelon? No, not a watermelon. Watermelon don't have a stem. I'm not sure, but whatever it was, the stem was broken. I say watermelon going, oh Lord. <laughs> I think I said that because of the color. <laughs> I mean, I've had a long day, you know. And once I'm done with this, I got to call my pharmacy and have them deliver my medicine. I really like this jar here. I really wanted it, but look at the price and you'll see why I left it. I don't need it that bad. 
it was ten dollars. They should be ashamed of themselves. I could even say five. A cute little chalkboard. That is cute, right? When you're serving muffins or cupcakes. That was a nice pot holder, brass. I don't need any more brass pieces. These were nice. I, I think they were uh, signed to Shannon glass. Yeah. I'm not really interested in Shannon crystal, but uh, they were definitely crystal glass. They were gorgeous. And it kind of came out the glass, the, the plastic, so I was trying to set it back in there. I did accomplish what I was doing, too. And this caught my eye, but turned it over and it was modern. It looked so vintage. I didn't even show it to you. I'm sorry. You can see it from there. Yeah, you can see right there. Oh, I hate to even look. I left it. Isn't that beautiful? It it's it's modern. So if it was, if it's another one too. I think, right? Maybe not. If it was vintage, it would. I wouldn't have hesitated. I would have bought them right away. But um, and this was beautiful. Oh, I was like so excited. Wow, a nice fiesta wheel, a coat. Cobalt blue, and then I saw that crack. I said, never mind. And it's the vintage uh, Fiesta Wear 2. It has that long lowercase f on it. See it right there? Yeah. So when you're buying Fiesta Wear, if you're collecting it, try to collect the uh, vintage pieces, not the modern pieces. The modern pieces aren't valuable. I mean, of course, you have a collection, but you see that crack? It goes all the way up. Never mind. I mean, you don't see it, but I just couldn't. That's why somebody donated it because of the crack. So why do I want the crack? But it's a gorgeous piece. I think if it came with some other pieces, maybe I might have kept it. In fact, I have a, a, a cup and a platter to match it. I sold all my Fiesta wear and all my things that were similar to Fiesta wear. Um, I sold them one summer, but I did keep a pink mug and a a, a, a a platter and then I kept a, a cobalt blue mug and a platter yeah so I was looking at this little stone it looks like tiger's eye I believe it is you see it yeah I wanted it so bad but I wasn't going to pay ten dollars for the whole thing <laughs> I don't know what I would do with it so I left it yeah that's a piece of tiger eye I wanted to get that, but it was just too expensive. It was cast iron. It was gorgeous to hang in the backyard, put a little plant in there. <sighs> Off cam, I did put it in the cart, then I changed my mind. I checked, I pulled the stick off that mug. It wasn't vintage, so I left that too. And I was about to check out, then I remembered I didn't do the purses and the shoes, so I backtracked. And though I love to pick this up, but I'm not going to wear it. So, um, you know, it's a Vera Bradley. It was a, a great condition. That's a, worth picking up if you need one. I've had so many and I parted with them. I actually threw some out one year. I, I just I just don't wear them. Too many multicolors. I was trying to see if this was vintage or not. I really couldn't tell. I didn't see a sticker or a tag or nothing. So 
so I didn't want to take a risk and I left it, but I did love that uh, fly uh, motif in the front. In fact, I believe it was vintage, but you never know. They have knockoff. That was Baby Fat. Remember Baby Fat? She used to have some beautiful items. What was her name? Kimora, right? Kimora Lee or something like that. She was married to that guy. Forget, forget her name. And, I mean, I would have purchased this, but I used to have one and I donated it. So, <laughs> mine was all white, though. It was all white with a white handle. It was beautiful. That was a cute little leather purse. Good price. Nothing nothing went in the cart from that section. After the shoes, I'll do my haul. And um, so that'll be the end of my voice. Matter of fact, I'll probably just stop now because I don't want to skip into it. But um, yeah, the haul will be coming up. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Okay, everybody. Um, I, when I came home, I had to eat and rest. I was exhausted. Because mind you, before this video, I had a dentist appointment for a cleaning. Yeah, remember, I was just in there for a deep clean, and I went back for a cleaning. And I got to go back in a couple, uh, next week, for, I think I got a cavity or two. Yeah. So, um, they got to check that. So, I'll be back in there next week. 
But um, this is my haul, and uh, we're going to start with this beautiful folk art piece that I couldn't resist, and I don't know where it's going, but I just, I couldn't resist it. You know, I love that folk art stuff. It's a beautiful ship, and it's made out of metal. And then you have this, like, hanging thing. Let me come back so you can actually see. Isn't it gorgeous? So it's actually a candle holder. Uh, okay, it's actually a candle holder. You can put a candle in there. And then this is just gorgeous. Someone made a beautiful piece. And then that's the shark, I guess, going into the ship. That is so whimsical. I love it. I, I love it. And, it, I mean, you couldn't break, beat the price. Because normally, these type of things be like $20. Uh, come on, I could I, I couldn't leave it for no three dollars. And it says made in Indonesia, I believe that's what it says in the sticker. It's metal, and it's soldered together so nicely. It's all cast iron. Look at that, just beautiful. Um, I don't. Uh, it appears to be old. Do you see how thick that dust is in me? I mean, that is thick. <laughs> Can you see it? It's thick. So it's been around and it's made beautifully. Um, so I, I, I wanted to leave it several times and then I kept saying, no, Tanya, no, Tanya, get it. So I think I'm going to make like a cute little folk art, uh, section because I have quite, quite a bit of folk art, you know? So I think I'm going to make a little section and, you know, yeah, that'll be cute and it gorgeous. So let me show you the detail on the fish. I don't have really good lighting today. I'm not using my ring, but this is so beautifully colorful. And then let me show you the ship again. It's cute. It's nothing special, special, but I love that folk art stuff. It's just to die for. And I don't know, is this to put the candle out or is that just to hang when you're not burning something? I'm not sure. I guess that was his the uh, invention of soldering it together. I mean, to bring the pieces together, but I just thought it was so whimsical. And then this came with a pot, and me and the employees, we looked everywhere for it. You know, like my yellow one, a cute little flower pot, we couldn't find it. And so they lowered the price for me. They lowered it to $1.09. So it was $5 with the pot. So that was nice. So I got that. I can always use it for another pot since I'm doing gardening. And then I got this for my garden, which I have quite a few of these now. It's a long stick. It goes in the grass with a bunny. And I used to have a bunch of these. <laughs> Yeah, I have a bunch of these. And that was a great price for $2.09. I think in the store, they're like anywhere from 8 and up. You know, and I bought this cute little shirt. It's so cute. I doubt if it's vintage. I doubt if it's vintage. But let's see what the tag says. Oh, no, it says made in China. Oh, forever 21. I didn't even read the tag. Sometimes I'll be forgetting. Yeah, so it's not vintage. But it's nicely made. I like how they have the zipper. It's a cute little short, little short shirt with the long sleeves. I like that. <laughs> I had one on today, matter of fact. I don't know if you did I video myself. I don't even know if I videoed myself today. But it's a short little shirt. That's cute. And these shirts are real expensive in the store, so if you can find them, pick them up. And I couldn't wear them before. My stomach was too fat, but since I've been starving myself. I can wear them now. And I bought this beautiful little Indian rug for my back uh, door. We don't have one because every time I get a rug, it's too thick. And it stops the door from um, opening. So uh, this is handcrafted. And this one's nice and flat and thin. Hand. Wait, what does that say? Oh, it says made in KSA. What is KSA? Hmm, I don't know. I'm not sure it's... Some type of, oh, maybe that's India, Hila. I think that's India. But this is made in KSA. I'm not sure what KSA is. Hand at Met KJ Factory for Textiles. Nevertheless, it's beautifully made. Do you see that? That is gorgeous. And it had a great price on it. What's the price tag? $5.99. That was a great price for this type of. You know, this is antique. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Yeah. And this type of style was really thin. I know a lot of Indians have these type of things in their house or like Muslims. And I don't want to um, 
you know, just say that. But uh, that's where I normally see them at. It's a little tear there, but that's okay. So I'm going to run you through the washing machine on Delicate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pin here, a safety pin, so it doesn't unravel anymore. Or I may just sew it just to make sure. that Because you don't want to wash it, then it unravel. Actually, I think all of them are like that. Maybe it's not even ripped. Yeah, that's just how they ended it. Oh, okay, 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 good. So I don't have to do any sewing. The end, the middle has a really nice print, but I really don't even want it on my kitchen counter because it's filled. I need to wash it, but uh, it's cute. I can just sanitize the um uh, the counter. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, this I got this, so I have some already. Um, this one's more modern though. Mine's an antique. This is more modern, but I got it because. Um, I'm, I'm working outside and you can put stones in here and then it doesn't flood up, you know, because you don't want water. You don't want, never, never catch water by your house. I promise you, you will have uh, mosquitoes. Yeah. So let me show you what I'm going to do with it. See this box of shells? Yeah. I had that in my son's room. I forgot all about it in his closet. So I want to, I got it just for these shells. I can sit on my side and it won't collect water. It'll be perfect. And then I'll add some of these to a planner or do something with them, you know, to be creative. This way I don't have to go digging for the stuff. It'll be right there. But this is the purpose. When it rains, it won't collect any water. Yeah, I'll turn this this way. If you put it this way, it will collect water. I'll turn it that way. That says dad. That is cute. It's perfect. perfect. And I wanted to leave it because I really didn't want to pay for it. But it was just $2.10. That wasn't terribly bad. They could even even ask five dollars for the piece because it is intricately made, you know. And trick and word am I trying to use? I don't understand why I can't think of things anymore. It's so sad, but you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, so that's my haul, and I'm sure everybody's gonna love this. I know it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, because you know I have this, and then I have my own. Please excuse my house; it's a hot mess. I have this beautiful folk art that I was blessed with. Let me show you the the frame again. See how you can tell it's a beautiful piece. You see that beautiful mahogany frame? That is gorgeous and it's antique. I have this cute little whimsical. This is folk art too. That's a cow. He is rusty. I keep saying I want to put oil on it, but I don't know. I kind of like the rust, but it's gotten worse. So I'm going to put some... Um, Oh, I had that for some years. It's so cute. And I have a few other folk art pieces, so I might just put them together. And as you see, I have no way to put this. It's sitting on my chair with everything else I got from that same haul. And then my fruit basket. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks cute. I love it. I, I, I love it, dear. It looks so cute and whimsical. I just love it. I love it. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So God bless. And I hope you enjoyed this shopping trip. And um, I'll see you next time. And God bless. Bye-bye.